Hey, it's Morgan coming to you from Highland Cycles with a little, uh, we're going to install a product. I don't know if you care about this or not, but I figured I would show you what we're doing to Daisy, our rental bike, to help protect it. Um, we just went out again recently, got some more dents in the pipe, and I started thinking about how sometimes on KTMs, if you hit the pipe just wrong, you can break the intermediate flange that's on the cylinder, and that's not really cool at all because that ruins the whole day. And you're gonna take the cylinder off and do the piston anyway. So, KTM has a cute little uh, protecta, this guy. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but I call it a flange protector. So, we're gonna install that thing on our 2018 KTM 250XC dub. So, we're gonna start by coming in here, taking out this bolt. Because that's what they say to do. So this little guy goes in just like that with the little bolt up. I'm going to loosen. I'm going to loosen this bolt so it can move. I'm going to slide this right over like that. Get lined up if we can. There we go. They give you bolts, new bolts with it. And if you look at them, they are two different lengths. So the longer one is going to go on where the spring was because that has a little plate. So it's got to be a little bit longer. So that's this guy. Put it through there. We're going to come in. Like that. Allen on there. As with everything on your bike, I want to start it nice and slow, make sure it's not cross threading. Tighten down German tight, which is good and tight. Take the other new bolt, which is a little bit shorter. I'm gonna put it in over here. See how it's not lining up? That must mean that this is just off a tiny bit, so loosen this up. And usually if you just kind of wiggle it, there we go. See it start down in there. Now we can tighten the other side up since we had to loosen it to find that other hole. We like that. I'm going to tighten a little pinch bolt. Come in here. Tighten that up. Okay, now that flange is protected. And uh, just a little bit stronger. So hopefully less chance of breaking that thing and causing a day ender. Uh, flanges really aren't that expensive. But they're just a pain in the butt because you got to replace them and no one wants to have to work on their bike until it's actually time. So, now take our spring, put that back on there, and take our pipe. There we go. So that spring, awfully loose if I can do it by hand. So we're going to put a new one on. Put that on there. Because you want these springs nice and tight, holding that up in there nice and tight. Now we can put our bolts back in and go for a dirt bike ride. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Get that little notification bell clicked so that you know when we do new videos. And most importantly, no matter what, make sure you find some time to ride your dirt bikes!